Yo, your boobs look so saggy. <laughs> Culture family, so we're back at it again with another video. We're doing a Q and A. We have so many questions, but we don't get through this because it's a have? whole list. I have about like 30 questions. Damn. So you know, we're gonna space it out. Um, as you guys know, we have some questions from Facebook, Instagram, my text messages as well, like from family members, friends, fans. So we're about to answer those questions real quick. A lot of them are a little reckless. Some of them are a little <laughs> like, you know, like I'm trying to find out the most, but that's okay. Like, you know, I answer them. It don't bother me. I try to answer them as truthful. As possible for you. Truthful as possible. No lies here. Alright. What is your favorite drink? Um, my favorite drink is Vanique. It's purple. It's like a wine. It got like vodka in it. It got sparkles. And it's purple. It's mad good. The orange one is better. No, I don't think I want to try any of the new Vaniques. Like they have an orange one, a red one, a yellow one. And I don't really want to try that. Like, the orange one is a lot better than the purple one. Yeah, you tried one, right? Yeah. The orange one? Yeah, I don't know. I, I I think the purple one is the best one and they discontinued it. For what reason? I don't know why. Alright, so next we got um, someone from Facebook. He asks, what's the biggest lie you ever told someone close to you? Um, <laughs> uh, you want to go first? No, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Um, um, I told Mark that I was going somewhere and I was going somewhere with my friend and she took me out, whatever. Okay. Anyways. Well, I know um, about this one? Yeah, it was uh, recently, actually. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay. But it wasn't technically really a lie, but that's the only lie we think of right now. So it wasn't I'm technically say. a lie. It was technically a lie. <laughs> Like, yeah, I can't really get into the details right now, but <laughs> I basically practically lied, not really, but yeah, and um, she took me somewhere and um, I said I was going somewhere and ended up being somewhere else and it looked really bad, but yeah. So what about you? What did you ever... Mm. It's pretty much the same thing like you, basically. You know, telling you I was going somewhere and I ended up somewhere else. But I wasn't with any female, though, that's the thing. I was just with the boys. That's the only difference. It was about the same thing. Mm, okay. Yeah. Someone asked, how did you meet your lovely wife? And what advice do you have for young men today trying to have a healthy and loving relationship as you do with yours? I was a photographer in New York City where I came across her Instagram page and I asked to basically book her for a photo shoot. And three days later, she came to my studio and we did the photo shoot. And it was that very day, that same day, right? Where I actually text you and I was like, I'm feeling No, 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 that was like two days after that day, actually. I went for the photo shoot. Yeah. Um, I signed a model release form. Um, that was the first day, wasn't it? Yeah, the first day. Damn, it was so long ago. I signed a model release form, uh, which gives like somebody to have the permission to post their content that they make anywhere without legal actions. Um, and then they gave me the photo shoot, whatever. And we had like, you know, a drink and we chilled. And then I left, right? Yeah. They dropped me back off. Yeah, I dropped ass at the train station. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I dropped the only to the train station. Ah, right, you can answer the other part. Um, the what advice do you have for young men trying to have a healthy and loving relationship as you do with yours? Um, definitely honesty, and tell the person exactly what you want out of life. Like, even though they may not feel comfortable or whatever it is that you're expecting from them or someone else just keep it a buck so that they're heads up 
and they know like if they want to stay with you or not um, and just communication really to be honest um, and, and don't like rush things just let them fall into place and um, stay on top of each other pretty much yeah like, moral of the story keep it 100 right. keep it 100 with each other no matter if you no matter if you think that she's gonna leave you or see you a different way keep it 100 with each other if that person goes then that person wasn't the one basically mm -hmm. was it the one then that wasn't the one <laughs> um jealous type uh i'm not the i'm jealous to a certain extent but i i really am learning how to like not be jealous like because Jealousy can make you feel a certain type of way, it can make like a person turned off. So like I do like a mature jealousy. What? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a mature type of jealousy, like where I'm not like a kid about it. Like I'm not like you know, like one of those people just like, oh, I'm so jealous. Why you like a picture? Why you get a comment? Why you put a heart? Mm -hmm. Like I really was like that before. So now I'm just like just chilling. Do you guys want more kids and eventually expand your family? Right now, no. Yeah, I don't <laughs> no. Like not right now. Um. Like we had two kids back to back, like no breaks. Yeah. Um. I'm not gonna say it's it's actually been really easy. You know what I'm saying? It's, they're not really that bad. They do like what kids do, get into stuff, but. They're really great kids, like, but right now, like, I would want to expand our, our family. I just don't know when's the right timing. So for right now, we're just like... Yeah, we have kids really young. We're so. not like worried about it right now. Yeah. We got our hands full. Um, yeah. Pretty much. If it happens, it happens, but yeah. Set everything on fire. It's a plane. Okay, on a scale from 1 through 10, rate your childhood. Ooh, mine was a 10. All the way 10. Mine was like... Mine was like... A 8.9. Mine was all the way 10. If you could have one wish to go back for one day, like, I'll go back for one day. Yeah, I definitely would too. I'll go back I'll for one day. I'll definitely go back for one day. My childhood was popping. But... 8.9 for yeah, me. That shit was popping. Christmas was lit. Halloween was lit. <laughs> Who, um, you know cousins I had over? Everybody loved their cousins. I like, had so many cousins over. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you like school? Um, I loved school. The only thing I didn't like about school was that growing up, like, I was a little bit different. Like, I was retro. I was in special ed. Like, I got teased a lot. Like, I was always, like, the cutest girl, but, like, in the school, but, like, I was in special ed. I dressed weird. I was different, so <laughs> I got teased. And I never had, like, a dressing coach. My mom didn't have all this money to have me, like, in some, like, the best H&M kid clothes. Like, you know, like, even my family members would, like, joke on my clothes, like, you know. Growing up, like, why oh, your mom got you a song? How would? I'm like, they not how would? Stop playing. Swag. That's Even though I think. knew they was like hot waters, think. cause I had to build my confidence up. Um. I'm anyways, like, my school, my school. Uh, me liking school was I, but I didn't really like it, cause in math I didn't like math, so I kind of ditched school, played hooky a lot. I ended up graduating though, so. Anyways. See, I went to elementary school in Canada, so it was different. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was different. Me, New York, so like things were just dope. Do you speak any different languages? Um, yeah, I speak English. I speak Creole. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I dead wish though. Um, no, nah, I know Spanish. Um, and growing up, like in high school, I had a friend teaching me. Um, what is it? Um, I think it was. Korean? No, Korean. I forget what the right way to say it, like for Korean speaking. But anyways, I know a couple words in that, and um, that's it, really. 
Yo, your boobs look so saggy. <laughs> like, look at that joint. <laughs> <laughs> I know, let me not sit like that. <laughs> I really think mine is really sad. I'm leaving that in there. Um. Anyways, we gotta end this video. We gotta end this video, y'all. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit like, that like button. Comment. Share the video all over the world. Share, 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 share. And it's, you already know what it is. It's the Coach Family. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no? Anyways, that shit lame. Yo, we out. Wait, I got water. You never can boil it. Oh, I got water.